How to lower creatinine naturally and stop kidney failure before it starts. Do you ever worry about your kidney health or wonder why your doctor keeps mentioning creatinine in your blood test results? You're not alone. Many people don't even know what creatinine is until a lab report shows their levels creeping up and suddenly it becomes a source of real concern. Creatinine is simply a waste product that your muscles release into your bloodstream. If your kidneys are working well, they filter it out and keep things running smoothly. But when your kidneys are under stress or not functioning at their best, that creatinine can start to build up. High creatinine isn't just a number on a test. It can mean your kidneys are having a harder time doing their job, and that's something no one wants to ignore. The good news? There are practical, science-backed ways you can help lower your creatinine levels, and most of them don't involve complicated treatments or expensive supplements. Whether you've been told your creatinine is high or you just want to protect your kidney health, these simple tips can make a real difference. So let's get straight to the point. Here are seven strategies you can start using today to help your kidneys and keep your creatinine in check. One, cut down on vigorous exercise. Reducing very intense exercise is one of the easiest ways to help lower your creatinine levels. Many people believe that working out harder is always better for health, but this is not true for everyone, especially if you have kidney concerns. When you do very vigorous exercise like heavy weightlifting, running fast, or long distance events, your muscles create more waste products. One of these waste products is creatinine. As your muscles work harder, they release extra creatinine into your blood. If your kidneys are healthy, they can remove this extra creatinine without problems. Your creatinine levels may rise for a short time after intense activity, but then they go back to normal in about two to three days. However, if your kidney function is already lower than normal, your body may not clear out this extra creatinine as quickly. This can make your blood tests look worse than they really are, and it can put extra stress on your kidneys. To help your kidneys and avoid sudden spikes in creatinine, try to choose light to moderate activities instead of very hard workouts. Activities like brisk walking, slow cycling, light swimming, or gentle aerobics are good options. These exercises keep your body moving and your heart healthy, but they do not force your muscles to release too much creatinine. If you wear a fitness tracker or check your pulse, try to keep your heart rate between 100 and 120 beats per minute during exercise. You do not need to stop all exercise. Staying active is important for your health. Just focus on gentle and steady movement. If you ever feel unsure about what level of activity is safe for you, talk with your healthcare provider. Two, reduce protein. Intake, eating too much protein can also raise creatinine levels. This is because your body turns the protein you eat into waste products, and one of these is creatinine. Foods high in protein, such as red meat and full-fat dairy products, can make your kidneys work harder. If you eat large amounts of these foods often, your blood creatinine may go up. This effect is even more important for people whose kidneys do not work well. You do not need to cut out protein completely. Your body still needs protein to build and repair tissues. The goal is to choose protein sources that are easier for your kidneys to manage. For example, you can eat more chicken, fish, eggs, tofu, or beans instead of red meat like beef or lamb. Plant-based proteins are a good choice because they do not put as much stress on your kidneys. Some people find it helpful to replace meat with vegetarian options, like a veggie burger or lentil stew. It is also helpful to spread your protein intake throughout the day instead of eating a lot in one meal. This makes it easier for your body to handle the waste products. If you have questions about how much protein is right for you, ask your doctor or a registered dietitian. They can help you make a meal plan that fits your needs and protects your kidneys. Reducing your protein intake does not mean giving up tasty or satisfying meals. Try adding more fruits, vegetables, and whole grains to your plate. These foods support overall health and are easier on your kidneys. By making these small changes, you can help keep your creatinine 
at a healthy level and give your kidneys the support they need. Three, avoid creatine supplements. Many people use creatine supplements to build muscle or improve sports performance. These products are popular among athletes and bodybuilders because creatine can help increase energy during short, intense activities. However, creatine is closely related to creatinine, the waste product measured in your blood. When you take creatine supplements, your body breaks them down and turns some of it into creatinine. This raises the creatinine level in your blood, even if your kidneys are healthy. If you have any kidney problems, it is especially important to avoid creatine supplements. Extra creatinine from these products can build up quickly and add more stress to your kidneys. This may make your test results look worse and can even cause health problems if your body cannot clear the extra waste. Some people may not realize that certain energy powders or sports drinks contain creatine, so always read the ingredient labels carefully. Most people do not need creatine supplements for regular exercise or daily life. If you want to stay active and support your muscles, focus on getting nutrients from whole foods. You can get enough protein and energy from a balanced diet that includes lean meats, beans, lentils, and plenty of vegetables. If you have ever taken creatine supplements in the past, let your doctor know. They can help you understand how it affects your health and your blood test results. Choosing to avoid creatine supplements is a simple and effective step to lower your creatinine levels, especially if you have kidney concerns. Talk with your healthcare provider before starting or stopping any supplement. They can help you make the best choices for your individual health and kidney function. Four, increase fiber in your diet. Adding more fiber to your daily meals can help lower creatinine levels in a gentle, natural way. Fiber is a type of carbohydrate that your body cannot fully digest. Instead, it helps move waste through your digestive system. Many studies have shown that a high-fiber diet can support kidney health by reducing the amount of waste products, including creatinine, that your kidneys need to handle. Eating more fiber-rich foods helps your body remove some waste through the digestive tract, not just the kidneys. Good sources of fiber include fruits like apples and pears, vegetables such as carrots and broccoli, whole grains like oats and brown rice, and beans or lentils. Try adding a serving of these foods to each meal. For example, enjoy an apple with breakfast, have a salad with lunch, or eat some beans with dinner. If you find it hard to get enough fiber from food alone, you can consider using a fiber supplement. Products like psyllium husk powder or wheat dextrin are easy to mix into water, juice, or even food. Many people do not notice a change in flavor or texture. The goal for most adults is about 30 to 35 grams of fiber each day. If you are not used to eating a lot of fiber, add it slowly to avoid stomach upset. Fiber supports healthy digestion and can help control blood sugar and cholesterol levels too. Five, drink more water. Drinking enough water is one of the simplest and most effective ways to help lower creatinine levels. Your kidneys need plenty of water to filter waste out of your blood and send it to your bladder so it can leave your body as urine. When you are well hydrated, your kidneys can do this job more easily. Dehydration, on the other hand, makes it harder for your kidneys to remove creatinine and other waste, so levels in your blood can go up. A good rule for daily water intake is to take your body weight in pounds, divide it by two, and drink that many ounces of water each day. For example, if you weigh 150 pounds, aim for about 75 ounces of water. If you use kilograms, multiply your weight by about 0.03 to get the liters of water you need. If this sounds like a lot, start by increasing your water slowly over a few weeks. Some people find it hard to drink plain water. Try adding a slice of lemon, a few mint leaves, or using sugar-free flavor drops. Carry a reusable water bottle with you as a reminder to sip throughout the day. Spreading your water intake out is easier on your body than drinking a large amount all at once. Keep in mind that people with certain heart or kidney conditions may need to limit fluids, so always ask your doctor what is best for you. For most people, staying well hydrated helps the kidneys remove waste. 
supports better energy, and can lead to healthier creatinine levels. Six, monitor and adjust medications. Some common medicines can raise creatinine levels in your blood. This does not always mean your kidneys are getting worse, but it can make your test results look higher than they really are. Drugs such as certain antibiotics, blood pressure medicines, painkillers like NSAIDs, for example, ibuprofen, and even some medicines used for heart and stomach problems can affect how your kidneys work. If you are taking several medicines every day, it is a good idea to keep a list and share it with your healthcare provider. Never stop or change any medication on your own. Always talk to your doctor first. They know your full health history and can help you make safe decisions. If your blood tests show higher creatinine, your doctor may look at your medication list and decide if a change is needed. Sometimes just switching to a different drug or lowering the dose can help your kidneys without causing other problems. It is also important to avoid overusing painkillers, especially without a prescription. Many people take these medicines for headaches, back pain, or arthritis, but using them too often or in high doses can stress your kidneys. If you need pain relief, ask your doctor about safer options. If you take herbal supplements or over-the-counter remedies, let your doctor know about those too. Some herbal products can interact with your medicines or even harm your kidneys. Keeping your healthcare team informed helps you avoid risks and supports better kidney health. Always check before starting anything new. Being aware of your medication and talking openly with your doctor are smart ways to protect your kidneys and help keep your creatinine in a healthy range. Seven, explore herbal and lifestyle approaches, but with caution. Some people look to herbs and natural remedies to help lower creatinine and support kidney health. While there are stories and some early research about certain herbs being helpful, it is important to be careful. Not all herbs are safe for everyone, and some may actually harm your kidneys or interfere with your other medicines. Herbs like nettle leaf, astragalus, and dandelion root are sometimes suggested by natural health practitioners for kidney support. Some studies suggest that these herbs may help lower creatinine or reduce inflammation, but there is not enough high quality evidence to say they work for sure. For example, a study published by the Journal of Ethnopharmacology in 2014 found that ostragalus might support kidney function in some cases, but more research is needed. Before trying any herbal remedy, always talk to your doctor or a trained healthcare provider. Herbs can interact with your medicines or cause side effects. The same is true for new diets or big changes to your lifestyle. What works for one person may not be right for someone else, especially with kidney concerns. Some people benefit from stress reduction techniques like meditation, yoga, or deep breathing. Managing stress may support overall health, but it should not replace medical advice or treatments. Remember, there are no miracle cures for kidney health. The best approach is a balanced lifestyle, good nutrition, proper hydration, and regular medical care. Using caution and asking questions before starting new remedies helps you stay safe. If you want to explore herbal or natural options, make it part of a bigger plan that includes your doctor's guidance. This helps you avoid risks and focus on what truly works for your health. Keeping your kidneys healthy is about making simple, consistent choices each day. Paying attention to your habits and working with your healthcare provider can make a real difference in how you feel and what your lab results show. Remember, even small changes can have a positive impact over time. If you ever have questions or notice new symptoms, do not hesitate to reach out to a medical professional. Your health is worth the effort and you are not alone on this journey. Keeping your kidneys healthy is about making simple, consistent choices each day. Paying attention to your habits and working with your healthcare provider can make a real difference in how you feel and what your lab results show. Remember, even small changes can have a positive impact over time. If you ever have questions or notice new symptoms, do not hesitate to reach out to a medical professional. Your health is worth the effort, and you are not alone on this journey.